Hey, welcome back to my channel, Insomniambi here, and I'm back at it again with a brand new animation. I decided to animate one of my characters that I have here in my little template, which is this uh, <laughs> Chef Ladybug. And um, yeah, the style of the art is way different, I decided to go for more pixelated style. And this is what I came up with, let's check it out. As you can see, he's making some lovely hamburgers, and it loops. But I wanted to go into more detail about the layers, and how it's super easy just to uh, create any animation if you have layers. So I first started off with the body, which let's get rid of uh, all of this real quick. So, oh yes, in the background, is just going to be, I made this simple background, which is just uh, the blue color and the little grill there. And when I make this invisible, it just all goes away. <clears throat> so, what I did first was I made the body, as you can see, a simple little circle shape with some shading and, um, you know, some lines there. And I simply just made it go up and down, as you can see like this, and then up, up and down, just to make it a little more lively. And once I did that, I decided to add the head. Which the head, if we look, I just made it go up and down as well. So with the body, let's check that out. So yeah, and then um, it kind of goes down a little, little bit more so it can make it seem a little more bouncy, if that makes sense. So let's look at that. There you go. Kind of chilling, vibing, grilling. And I also made him blink, so it can make him seem alive. As you can see here, the eyes are totally open and then it goes down a little bit and then completely closed and then opens up and completely open. It gives it a little more smoother effect. And then once I, once I did my body and my head, I did my limbs, his little grills, his little spatula here and his little arms, which I made them, uh, let's see, let's see what I did here. I made them kind of move around a little bit, kind of twitch, you know, because uh, bugs are twitchy. I didn't make it smooth I kind of just made him twitch his little legs here kind of like dancing and then I went ahead and added a little chef hat which I, I could have added the little chef hat to his head but I kind of wanted the chef hat to move kind of independently kind of like bouncy like have, have a bouncing ahead or <laughs> effect on his head as you can see Cool, and then once I did all of that, I just added a little more detail to the grill here, some little sizzle effects. As you can see, they kind of fade out with the opacity. Once again, I, l I love using the, um, you know, the disappearing effect, which is very simple, which is just uh, double clicking and going to cell properties. And then as you can see, it goes down to 200, then 150, 100, and 50. And then I did it down to 25, just so it can make it seem a little smooth. And as you can see, I added them in different, at different positions, so it can make it seem a little more, uh, you know, I guess not realistic, but you know, like more lively, I guess. Added one there, and then one going up the middle. So yeah, that's what I came up with today. So if you look at the whole thing, it looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool. And what I plan on doing is I plan on animating animating all of my little characters. I'm going to add more characters, but I want to animate these and kind of just make a big old canvas. Maybe put the little snake right here. You can always expand the canvas by going here and uh, choosing where you want it to expand from. So let's say I want to expand from, from the left or from the right to the left. I would just come here and I would adjust the width or the height. So let's go for 200 width and 200 height. There we go. Or let me see, let me start from this corner right here and just press OK. And um, you can always just add the blue color to this, but this is just to expand the canvas and you can add more stuff over here. I, I want to make a giant canvas of just my characters. But yeah, let's start off with my little chef ladybug here. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for today. I kind of wanted to show you how I just animate the separate little parts and then put them all together. And when you want to save, what you want to do is clip, click the very top one, or it doesn't matter which one you click. You want to do a right click and 
flatten visible and then you would go up here and save as I already saved it I think somewhere around here but let's save it again so I'm just gonna put it as chef ladybug I saved it as chef bacon because <laughs> I was kind of hungry but yeah let's just do chef ladybug and you got to go over here to file type and instead of as an ASUS sprite file you want to save as a GIF file and then click OK and then animation loop yes and there you go you have saved your little animated character so yes guys if you like what you see go ahead and like and subscribe comment what you want to see next you guys take care